I said before, I used to always view Chad as unbreakable. He was breakable. And that doesn't mean you're weak. That means you're human. My name is Sarah Wilkinson. I'm a Gold Star spouse. I was married to Navy SEAL Chad Wilkinson, who took his life October 29th, 2018. You hear the words PTSD, it's a growing problem. We start to hear the words TBI, which Chad had after many years of service multiple combat deployments. And what we're now starting to see is a growing problem with blast wave injuries. He succumbed to all of these things. Um, he suffered a long time before ultimately making the decision to take his life. I looked at pictures before, but as you move forward in your grief, it allows you to see things differently. And so this was a couple months ago and I was scrolling through photos. And as I was scrolling through family photos, I realized that I went through 2018 and then I went through 2017 and 2016. And it was, I realized the beginning of 2016 is when he stopped smiling. I had never noticed that before. But I look at all of our photos and there's just this face that he would make where he was just kind of like stern and we would take family photos and it was like he was just looking through you or something. Yeah, so I think, I think that's when he really became lost. And so when we're talking about like Chad, who is a SEAL or tier one operators who are literally the people going in and kicking in doors, they are well-trained. Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars they spend and as they should. And they can skydive and they can dive and they can shoot guns and they can blow shit up. But they don't really do anything to prepare them at all for the effects that that's gonna take on them, mentally and physically. You meet any tier one operator after 20 years of service and they're a little broken, physically. Their back's messed up, their neck's messed up. And then you take into effect the blast waves that they're exposed to, breaching doors, shooting guns. It affects their brain and it affects their mind. And so what you end up with is a whole lot of military veterans that come home and to a blind eye, physically, they look fine. They're standing, they're walking, they're talking. But if you look a little bit harder and you look in their eyes, you can see a lot of them aren't there. And that needs to change. <laughs>